Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us today for our regular Sunday service. Uh, we're not observing any memorials or anything today. Today, so we are just uh, having what we might term as our tri-temple Sunday service. And I want to thank you for tuning in and hope you're doing well. Uh, I'd like to begin with an opening reading. If you please join me in Gosho. <clears throat> Day in, day out, I am with Amida. Let the sun set whenever it pleases. How grateful indeed I am. Namu Amida Roots, 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 Namu Amida Roots. Thank you. This particular reading is from what we in the Jodo Shinshu tradition call a Myo Konin. Her name was. Hina Mori, and uh, she says, uh, she's always with Amida. And when she says, let the sun set whenever it pleases, meaning let my life end whenever it pleases. But she's always with Amida. So this is Hina Mori's uh, words and uh, very famous uh, Myokoni in Japan. I'll continue with the sutra chanting of the uh, Jusei Ye. Uh,せつ、うりあげんよ。あ、こんちょせんあん、いしむじょの、しがんぷまんぞ、せふじょしょがあ、おむりょこ、ういだいせしゅ。不再小兵格 Shigamajano <coughs> え、速書悪道、上大集中、世法死死苦、漫画クエディ都市最初村志願や国家大戦の感動国書天然東京 
Thank you. Now I'd like to ask you to join me in the reading of the golden chain. I am Link in Amida's golden chain of love that stretches around the world. I will keep my link bright and strong. I will be kind and gentle to every living thing and protect all who are weaker than myself. I will think pure and beautiful thoughts, say pure and beautiful words, and do pure and beautiful deeds. May every link in Amida's golden chain of love be bright and strong, and may we all attain perfect peace. Excuse me. <clears throat> Once again, uh, good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us today for this uh, Sunday service. I hope you're staying warm. I know it's been very, very cold uh, these past few days, and I hope you're uh, staying healthy. It's hard to believe, but this is uh, the last uh, service uh, in February for us, and it'll soon be the month of March. We'll soon be uh, observing uh, with daylight savings. And then uh, towards the middle of March, it'll be the uh, beginning of spring. And the weather now, it doesn't seem like it's anywhere close to spring with this cold, but um, it is quickly going by and the month of February is almost gone. And it seems like it's been a long, long time since we've been able to see each other in person. And I really do miss having our regular Sunday services where I can see the faces of our members gathered in the temple. So this COVID uh, pandemic or epidemic has certainly changed the way that we operate. And it's changed the way, excuse me, that we communicate as well. And it's needless to say, there's nothing like seeing people in person. And I hope that very soon we can resume our in-person gatherings. I've been spending more time at home and uh, doing my study class, doing services, uh, reading and everything else. But also it's afforded me some time to uh, do some cleaning of uh, a spare bedroom that we have. And so as the other day, as I was going through things, I came across a little uh, safe like box with a lock and there's uh, in it are all my travel documents. Of course, we haven't traveled in a long time, but inside that box were um, passports, um, my global entry um, passes and things that, that I used when I traveled, including uh, money belts and things. And inside the money belt, there was um, uh, currency and currency from Canada, currency from Europe, and a lot of currency from Japan. Um, Japan is the one country that I've gone to the most. So most of the money that's in this little safe 
was uh, Japanese yen. And uh, so every time we return from a trip, you know, this whatever we don't spend, we save for the next trip and it gets thrown into this box. So there's uh, some paper currency, but there's a lot of coins, Japanese coins. And I was looking through it and I said, oh gosh, I remember this uh, five yen pieces. And I'm gonna share with you what a five yen piece looks like here. If I can uh, find this on the screen. Yeah, so this is a, a picture, whoops, excuse me. This is a picture on one side of a uh, five yen piece. And um, it it's, says on the left there, go in or five yen. Okay. Um, the five yen piece is unique because of this hole that's in the center. Only the five yen and the 50 yen piece have this hole in the center. And here you see the one side of the coin that says um, Nihonkoku or Japan. And then on this bottom part, it says Heisei Juhachi Nen, uh, or the 18th year of the emperor Heisei. So in Western calendar, this would be 2006. So the, in Japan, when a new emperor takes the throne, uh, it begins with year one, and the money that's created, you know, will have the year of, that it's uh, created. So this coin was minted in 2006, or Heisei Juhachi, or 18th year of uh, uh, the emperor. Uh, on the other side of the coin is uh, uh, rice stocks. And then the kanji goen or five yen. Now I recall uh, a friend of mine in school. We became very close in the at the Chuo Bukyo Gakuin where I attended school, and he handed me one of these five yen pieces, and I I, thought, I didn't know what he was giving it to me, but he told me that here's the five yen goen, and it represents us having a good connection because of fortunate circumstances. So it's a play on words using the term goen or five yen also means, and you'll see the kanji here, goen. Go is honorific and en means a relation, a connection or a bond that's created. So when my friend gave me that coin, he was saying, you and I have a special bond because of fortunate circumstances. Now in Buddhism, that same character N of Go N is used in the term Engi. Engi, or the idea that all things arise by causation. Nothing arises out of nowhere. Everything has a cause. Everything has a condition. So the five yen coin in this uh, sort of play on words represents for the Japanese the idea that there's a deep connection because of fortunate circumstances of go in. So my good friend, my classmate in Japan, um, he lives in Yamane Prefecture in Japan, and he gave me this coin and, and was saying that he and I came together because of the Buddha Dharma. We came together because of the teachings of Shinran Shonen. He had traveled from Yamane to go to school. I had traveled from the United States to go to school. And there we were, were put together by circumstances and we became good friends. And it is, that is represented by this simple little five yen coin. So my good friend, he lives, you know, thousands of miles away. We're separated by time and by distance. But we're still very deeply connected as friends, not only because of our time together in school, but because of the Buddha Dharma, because of the Nembutsu teachings that brought us together. And so 
that small gesture of him giving me this coin had great significance, had great meaning for me and for him as well. Now, all of us, you and I, during this time of COVID, we're separated by circumstances. And there, it's unfortunate that we can't see each other. But we are deeply connected by more positive circumstances, and those being the Nembutsu and the Buddha Dharma. No matter the circumstances, we're deeply connected. Every time we put our hands together and recite the name of Amida, Namo Amida Butsu, we are connected. We are one. So I want to emphasize to all of you how fortunate we are to have been brought together by the Buddha. We have been so fortunate to be able to hear the teachings of Shinnan Shoni. We're so fortunate that our Issei pioneers established the Watsonville Buddhist Temple. Our parents, the Nisei generation, continued to build upon that circumstances to create the temple that we're able to have today. So each and every day, we should express our gratitude to all of them, to our ancestors who traveled from Japan and established Jodo Shinshu here in America, to Shinnan Shonin, to Shakyamuni Buddha. Each day, we should express our gratitude to them, gratitude to them by putting our hands together and reciting the Nembutsu. Thank you. Please join me in Gashu. Namo Amidabuts, Namo Amidabuts, Namo Amidabuts, Namo Amidabuts, Namo Amidabuts. Thank you very much. Uh, before we close today, I want to make a few announcements. Uh, one is that uh, on March 5th, next week, a Saturday, the Buddhist Churches of America is conducting uh, workshops uh, all day Saturday. This is uh, prior to the National Council meeting. And uh, Saturday, March 5th, beginning at 10.15, the Bishop Marvin Harada will be conducting a town hall meeting. And he will be focusing on how, how to grow our membership. Uh, one of the challenges that we face today in our temples, and he'll, he's going to be talking about that. And then that same day at one o'clock, uh, President-elect Terry Omori We'll be talking about the new uh, California Assembly Bill 506 uh, Youth Protection uh, Bill. And then at two o'clock, the BCA Music Committee uh, will be holding a workshop on how to use ideas and resources for sanghas to engage our members through music. And then at three o'clock, the Endowment Foundation uh, this is part of the Dharma Forward campaign, the new campaign to raise funds for the BCA. We'll be making a presentation. And then finally at four o'clock, there'll be the Endowment Foundation workshop. Um, the, and then Sunday, the following day, the 13th, uh, we won't be holding services in any of our temples in Salinas, Monterey, or Watsonville, because that day will be the national BCA Eitaikyo service at 10 o'clock. So I encourage all of you to tune in to that service. Um, the guest speaker will be Reverend Kenji Akahoshi, who recently retired from the San Diego Buddhist Temple. All of these events are open to uh, any of our members, uh, and you'll see information in your Ichimi uh, newsletter. And now I'd like to ask you to, once again, please join me in Gasho as I share with your closing reading again from uh, Mrs. Hina Mori, uh, the Myokonin, who, uh, and one of her uh, passages. Please join me in Gashu. My time is always passed with Amida. No matter how unexpectedly the sun may set, how grateful indeed I am. Namo Amida Buts, Namo Amida Buts, Namo Amida Buts, Namo Amida Buts.
Thank you very much, everyone. This will conclude our Sunday service here in uh, the Matsuva Buddhist Temple. This is actually for Tri Temple, but uh, thank you for tuning in. And I uh, hope you'll join us next week for our Ohigan service and Shotsuki Hoyo in Watsonville. Thank you very much. Namandavas, 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 Namandavas.